Welcome back guys to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved with me, Pommy Gamer. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day and it's the afternoon here on the island and I'm down at the old base. Now as you guys probably remember from the early part of the season, this is where we started out in Ark. This is where um, we got set up initially, <laughs> where we didn't really know what we were doing. Uh, and I've brought Duckface down who was actually the first dino we ever tamed. Um, so a bit of a bit of nostalgia going on here, um, but the reason I've brought Duckface along here is because at the end of the last episode where we tamed up um, Megabyte, our new Megalodon, it got me thinking about the kibble situation and the fact that we just simply we don't have a lot of it, and I wanted to basically put together a well essentially a kibble farm or an egg farm where we could have all of the dinos uh, just purely focused on producing eggs and I figured where better to um, to have the kibble farm than at the old base I mean we've already got defenses set up um, we may want to convert the uh, the wooden fences over to stone but to be perfectly honest nothing too bad spawns here now the reason we want the kibble farm away from the main base is because uh, things start to get a little bit laggy when you have a lot of dinos uh, in one area so we're going to have the kibble farm here and we'll just periodically come over and check on the egg situation now I'm really excited to do this episode because it means we're going to have to do a lot of taming um, Duckface is a dude so we're going to be after a female parasaur um, there's turtles, uh, dillos even Brontos. I mean, I've never tamed a Bronto in Ark either, so I, I'm super excited to, to get a load of dinos together. Um, I don't know how many how many we're going to get. I mean, I don't even know if this space is going to be large enough, to be quite perfectly honest with you guys. And then we need to do a little bit of building work as well. Set up a, a small out uh, outer house that has uh, refrigerators in it. Um, so yeah, there's, a, there's quite a lot of things going on in this episode. So what I'm going to do, guys, is... I'm going to take uh, our good friend Chocobo, if I can get a follow on you mate. There we go. And we're going to go off uh, and look for uh, the first dino that we're going to tame up. I'll see you guys in a bit.
and we're back guys and we're joined midway through the episode by Freddy. How's it going buddy? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Yourself? Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Now, why am I on Ragnar carrying Dozer? <laughs> well, I've been quite busy today actually buddy. Um, and you'll see as we uh, approach the old base here what I've been up to. Holy... M what the hell? <laughs> you basically... What have you done? <laughs> Why does this look like a military rally? What, are you going to try and invade Poland? What the hell? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not blitzkrieging. Um, <laughs> no, this is uh, this is going to be the new kibble farm. Oh, I see. So I had to bring so Dozer over because we're going to bring uh, Tank over as well. Um, but yeah, we've got all of the um, carnivores on this side and all of the herbivores on that side. And it's been quite fruitful so far. I've actually had quite a few eggs off of these guys already. Uh, the Pteranodons, the Scorpions, the Raptors, all of them are finally laying eggs. Um, so that's pretty oh, cool. So, oh, so Robin's working better out here, is she? Than back in the I don't castle. Know, I don't know whether it's a bug or whether it's just because we've got more females. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm prob we're going to probably want to get another one. Um, I think maybe, uh, you know, perhaps it's multiplied if you have a couple, but um, I have noticed well, that the uh, scorpions don't ha get the pulsing um, egg thing though, so I don't know whether that's because there's too many in the area for it to be affected by, or whether they just don't. Well, the carnos down the other end don't have it, and half of your pteranodons don't. Yeah, well, it looks and half the dillo. So maybe there's like a, I think there's like a ma probably a max number that it can affect. So we'd probably gonna want, want another one of these um, Ovi Raptors, um, but we need to get some eggs for that. Hence the purpose of the uh, okay. farm. Okay, what's going on here? Duckface selfie hashtag Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I was I was going with a bit of a theme there. <laughs> <laughs> I think the last one you might want to check on, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but and then the rest of them I just uh, I just couldn't I couldn't think of any names at this point in time. Uh, maybe we will open it up to the comments later. Um, but it's actually it's actually really good that you're online because um, there's two more dinos I want to add to the uh, the farm. You want more? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, more. Um, the whole squadron here is not enough, is it? No, we need um we need a couple of brontos, a male and a female. Um, <laughs> And I didn't okay. really, I didn't really fancy doing it on foot because they're. All right, go, go big or go home. Yeah, go, so <laughs> go big or go home, basically. Yeah. So, um, if you could do me the honour of um, picking me up with uh, tornado or chocobo. Um, I think we'll go. We'll go tornado. Yeah, My boy needs some levels. Okay, the carnos are really <laughs> just <laughs> growled. Yeah, they're friendly. I swear. Your dinos never like me. <laughs> Alright, I'm just over here. Have you got everything you need? Uh, I do. Too late, I've just picked you up. Oh, actually, um, stop. Turn oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need to get the med You need to go to the bathroom before we go. <laughs> yeah, we pop to the loo. <laughs> Can I, uh, do I need to go to the loo yet? There we go. <laughs> Tornado did one as well. Stop <laughs> every sink. Alright, let's grab the Mejos. Um, I think we've got enough of these. Uh, I'm just going to throw them on Tornado so that we've... Um yeah, we'll keep an eye on his weight limit. Yeah, I'm just going to dump some of the other stuff we don't need. If you've got all of them on there, then fine. I can pump weight in the next one. Uh, yeah, I was just getting rid of some Garbo. Uh, he won't need his food because I can go out and get it. Uh, I'll keep that and that. Cool. Right. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> You're heavier than Dozer. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> okay. Right. Where should we have a little look-see? Um, let's head down this beach here and... Um, We'll bring you back, guys, once we found a, uh, a Bronto to tame. See you in a bit. And we're back, guys. Um, 
We've just come down the beach here and we found this uh, level 8 uh, male Bronto. So, Freddy, do you want to move me just a little bit closer? And I'll start um, tranking it in the face. Uh, should we try and lead him up this way? Yeah, if you want to get in front of him as well and then I won't hit the, uh, the RG. And here we go. Oh. Yeah, move, move. Keep going. Oh, hello. Is that all good? You alright there? Yep. Can you go just sort of lower a bit? There Is that better? Go. That's good, that's good. I don't have the um, aggro music. Oh no, trust me, it's, it's well and truly playing. You're probably, oh. just, <laughs> you're probably just a bit high. So only, only for you. Oh, he's just lost aggro for some reason, apparently. Can you go just in front of him again? I've hit him three times with a trank dart in the head and he's not aggroing yet. <laughs> he's just not amused he by him. He doesn't care! <laughs> this guy's a baller. Maybe go a little bit lower. Okay, let's, let's go in front of him. He really doesn't care. Ooh, ow. It's alright. That's alright. Oh, there we go. Now he cares. It was right in the eye, that one. If you get me some okay. altitude, that would be good. And stop. And oh, you he's... stop caring. His head's turned. Can you um, get near his head? Yeah, I am watching the torpor. Should be going down. That was right in the eye. How are you not accurate? <laughs> there we go. That annoyed him. You know what? Just keep shooting him in the, f in the eye. He's not going to bite me because he's a vegetarian. Oh. And he stopped caring. This is weird. Are the trank darts bugged? Do you want to try switching to arrows? I might do it a bit. He's got so many in his face. You see, he gets angry, but then... Come on. Just punt him a couple more times and he goes away. Turn, turn. I'll try a train camera. Oh. Um, we're not aggroed at the moment, are we? No. Excuse me. Stamina. You ready? Yep. Yeah, see what the arrow does. Well, I shot him in the bar and that pissed him off. Oh, oh wow. hello. Uh, higher. Now I have the music. Shoot him again. Yep, shoot him. And uh, music's gone away. He's just losing aggro. I think it's probably a height thing. There we go. Did you miss? No, I hit him. Mm. If you hold it there, that's good. Switch back to trank darts. Too close to missiles, switching the guns. <laughs> Come on, you yes, big dude. fella. He's not moving anymore, someone else will just loiter here. Yeah, that's good.
I well, imagine these guys are going to take quite a few. They're, they're absolutely huge in size. Mm -hmm. You say that. <laughs> and he's down. <laughs> Woohoo! On the rocks. Okay. Alright. Oh. Cool. If you want to land, I'll grab the meadows. Uh, I'm so excited, it's the first Bronto uh, that we're going to tame. There we go. Ooh. Okay, this is going to take a while with Mejos. <laughs> <laughs> How long is a while? Um, oh, we're, talking, we're talking worse than Wilma, aren't we? Go and have a look. Wilma? Go and have a look. <laughs> I can't get off. Oh, there we go. Oh, you are joking! <laughs> and we're uh, only plus three! Yeah, well, it's a low level, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, guys, uh, we'll bring you back probably in a couple of in hours' time, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might want to go and make some kibble for the next one. <laughs> we'll see you guys in a bit. And we're back, guys. And our Bronto is almost tamed up. And for some reason... Way There we go! Whoa! <laughs> Aww! I'm sat on it. He didn't throw you! No, I, I was expecting to, um... Oh! You alright? And splat! And splat! <laughs> yeah, I was expecting to go, um, <laughs> completely airborne then. That's pretty cool! God, he's big! He's a big fella. So we tamed out at level 11. As we're saying, we're not really going for any particular amazing stats on these guys. They're purely for the kibble. Um, and we've got another... Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, ter it's terrifying, isn't it? We've got another patch here on the go as well. Um, how are we doing on that guy? That's Seven cent, one, two bites probably. Cool. So we'll wait for um, the patchy to tame up and then we'll get these guys back to the kibble farm and then go and find ourselves a female Bronto. See you guys in a bit. And we're back guys and the kibble farm is coming on quite nicely. We've got our two Brontos now. Uh, we've also picked up a Stego as well. And we've got a bit of organisation going on now. So we've got all of the uh, meat eaters over this side got all of the herbivores over this side um, but now we need to actually uh, put together a small building uh, that has all of the stuff we need to make kibble so we can do it on site and I have to take it way back to base um, and I have made up some foundations and some stuff and I put them on tank if I remember correctly let's have a look yeah so I've made up some thatch and some wood because obviously we want to um, plan it out first before we go building it out of expensive stone. Oh, hello Mr. Bonto down the hill. Let's back you up, tank. And I was looking at where to put it, and I guess I kind of want to build it at the end round here somewhere. Oh, there's trees growing back. You may need to go, mate, because you're probably going to be in the way. Let's just chop you down. It's a shame. It's a nice tree. I liked it, but... We need to build. Okay, let's just dump this stuff on you, tank. Now, as you remember from the uh, <laughs> the previous episode where I'd attempted to build a bridge uh, between these two places, we might end up running into some building issues. But we're a bit more experienced now, um, so I think we can do some good stuff. Now, I noticed here we have this stuff here, which looks... Well, <laughs> these buildings, uh, these uh, rocks are deceiving art, but this looks like it could potentially support the uh, the pillars. Can I get back up? Yep. So I'm thinking we'll probably go out that way a bit and then we'll probably just try and utilize the rest of the space. This part is obviously also a little bit taller, so we might want to start by building our first foundation here and then working that way. So uh, let's get to it. I have no idea what kind of shape I want to go for yet. I just wanted to kind of make a start and bring you guys in. Um, so, let's grab... Yeah, let's just start with the foundations. 
tank, I'm going to need you to just move back a little bit, buddy. And I realise it's night, but, you know, sometimes you just have to build at night. So, let's have a look. So, if this is the tallest point, we get into our K menu, zoom out a little bit. And if I want it, I guess, kind of at an angle to give us the best kind of chance with uh, these rocks here. I'm guessing I want to come this way and then build up here. Let's go into here. Let's put this on our night slot. Back into K menu. Let's look down first. That is the wrong button. Out in front a little bit. Cool. Okay, so we can see that's the highest point roughly there. Now, how are you in terms of Maybe you want to turn a little bit to that way. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. A bit too far. It all starts with the first <laughs> placement, because it can all go downhill from here. That's better. Cool. And so I want to build on the on the tallest point first as well, because otherwise we run into um, other issues let's take it this way a bit so this become essentially the back I think and place cool so that's the first one now let's try and just build as many as we can like so, can you build one here as yes, we can Build one here, yes we can. This is working out quite nicely. Right, so that's the six of those. Probably going to need to build some more of them. I want to bring it this way and then we're going to start to extend maybe like a little bit over the edge. Uh, I also brought, went back to base on Ragnarok and I brought down a spare generator and electrical cable that we had lying around because we're going to need a Jenny uh, to power the fridges which we're going to use to store eggs. And the actual kibble farm itself in terms of egg production is working out quite nicely. I just as I logged on here to record the last part of this episode I picked up these eggs just from around the peeps here. Which has been pretty uh fortuitous really. You got any more for me? Any more eggs? No? No what was that? That's a poop. Don't need that. What about you guys? Any eggs? Any eggs? We're gonna need to get more oviraptors, uh because I think um this poor guy is uh working around the clock because you notice that we don't know our Bronto's not got the egg pulsation stuff going. Ah, there we go. The dodos love laying eggs. They're always uh, reliable for eggs. Okay, guys, I, I'm going to make a start on the foundations uh, build, and then I'll bring you back one. I've kind of got most of the structure in place. I'll see you guys in a bit. And we're back, guys. And I made a few changes. Uh, I've decided to go for something a little bit interesting, a build I've never done before, which is kind of a tiered build, as you can see around here. So we've got these three different levels and uh, I had to kind of manipulate the arc building system a little bit so for example this very uh, corner piece uh, just uh, below uh, Ragnarok's left foot there that wouldn't place without um, this bit here so what I did was was taken what we learnt from the mega ramp build basically built out and then built some foundations down to uh, then allow that to um, be supported and that way we save on the amount of uh, pillars we need we don't need to run one all the way down from the one above we can just support it off of that there and it kind of looks a little bit better as a result of that as well um, now the reason why I've decided to go for this three tier build is because I was thinking about the kibble farm as a whole so naturally we're gonna want to have refrigerators to um, store our eggs um, so and the way I'm thinking about it at the moment in my headspace is would have probably refrigerators along this back wall here um, we're then also going to need um, some thing to cook them in so for now it's going to be the cooking pot but once we hit level 80 uh, we'll be able to get the industrial cooker which will be really good and that will sit there we also want to run um, 
preserving bins as well, probably around this wall here. Um, and we're going to want to have an industrial grill in as well so we can quickly cook the prime meat, get them all um, preserving. Um, so we might have to have like a, an entrance that comes off here like a little kind of side stair. And then down on this level here what I was thinking about doing was actually having kind of a mini farm where we would plant the uh, the rare seeds like the rock carrot, the sabaru and that kind of stuff that and have that on that level there so that we've always got access to the ingredients we need to make uh, kibble and then lastly down here I think this is where our generator is going to go to provide power um, and maybe some storage as well um, so it becomes a fully functional kind of operation without the need of you know taking the uh, the eggs back to the main base uh, so the next stage of what I need to do is I'm going to convert this whole thing to stone uh, and I'll bring you back when we're starting to place the uh, the electricity and the fridges and the water pipes and all of those things that we need. Um, yeah, really excited how this has turned out. See you in a bit. And we're back guys, and I finally finished the kibble farmhouse. Oh, this has taken a lot of work. Uh, Freddy came online last night and helped me finish it off. Um, yeah, <laughs> a lot of resources taken to build this, but I'm really happy with the results. It looks, especially in the stone, just absolutely amazing. Um, and you can see here from the outside, we've got a little farm area set up, all our water irrigation done. Down here, we've got a little Jenny room. We've got the pipes running down to the sea there for the intake. And you can hear the generators running. We've got the electrical wired up in there. Uh, so let's just take a look inside. And it's been really fortuitous actually building this because we've been gathering a lot of eggs. Are there any eggs for me anywhere? Ah, turtle egg. Awesome, I'll have that. The dodos, Christ, they've been going at it, I tell you. I mean, look, the dodos just lay eggs like it's going out of fashion. Really good. Still no bronto eggs, which is a little bit disappointing. We need to get a male patchy. Let's head over this way quickly and see uh, if any of the other guys... Oh, I see a dillo. Thank you. Any of you guys laid anything? No? What about the Tyrannodons? Nothing from you guys. Any Carno eggs? Nah. Okay. Well, the only thing we need to do left really, which I'm probably going to just do off camera, is to set up some feeding troughs. Uh, but let's take a look at the actual farmhouse. I'm really happy with how this turned out. So, we've got these little side steps up here. Nice little balcony we can sit on to look at our farm and go through into the uh, main corridor and in here this is kind of the main operation and you can see here we've got eight fridges all labeled uh, for different uh, purposes uh, we've got our cooking pots up here when we hit level 80 we'll replace this with the uh, industrial cooker and we've already got the water wired up so that we can plumb that directly in got an industrial grill here for cooking the prime meat and we have all of these preserving bins set up to uh, create prime meat jerky. Um, so this is the main kind of operation here. And let's take down. We've got this kind of nice little tower which leads down to a spiral staircase. And then out here we've got our farm set up where we'll be growing all of our rock carrots, summer root, that kind of stuff that we need for the kibble recipes. I'll tell you something. This is a prime piece of real estate. Beautiful views from up here. Um, and I'm particularly happy of how I managed to get all of the wiring done. You can see here, it's all very flush, um, tucked up underneath. We've got junction boxes just there, which are powering all of the fridges so that they're out, out of sight. Our plumbing is fairly well hidden as well under here, and it runs all the way down here. Let's take a look at the actual generator room. So we go in here, we've got storage boxes and some forges so that we can make up gas. We've got the actual generator itself. And the actual uh, piping for the uh, the electrical cable runs down underneath here. You can see the cable just there, and it's tucked up inside this wall here. Cross section that just kind of sticks out there. I really wish we had right angled um, uh, pieces for the uh, electrical, so we didn't have to have these kind of cross sections just kind of sticking out like that with no purpose. But overall, I am super happy with uh, how everything turned out. And look at how many eggs we've got. So in here we've got all of our carnivorous uh, dino eggs. Um, so let's throw that dillo egg in there. And then in here 
we have all of our uh, herbivore laying eggs as well and I've tried to order them in terms of I guess value or what they're going to be worth in terms of the actual recipes I mean the dodos, Jesus Christ 45 dodo eggs now um, I'm a little bit hungry so let's take a snack and the last thing all I wanted to do really was actually um, build some tables and chairs in here so I'll craft up these tables these chairs and let's grab the mortar and pestle as well now oh, I've never actually built these before so they look pretty cool actually so let's uh, take a look in our K menu and let's try and get this nice and straight that kind of looks pretty straight already so then we just kind of want to align the center with that part there so we know we're bang in the middle of the room and I've got three of these so they are roughly just a bit shy of one so let's put that one oh can't zoom in anymore okay let's go with that one there <laughs> that's a chair oh, you can stack them that's interesting the chairs at least oh, it's annoying that it doesn't actually butt up and allow me to clip because I kind of just want a big long table that one there and then let's move this way get this guy here in the middle like so now with the chairs do they rotate after you place? I don't know uh, let's go with, we do them on either side yeah I think we will probably want a bit of room between so I don't know whether our character legs will actually fit under the uh, table but let's do one roughly in the centre there let's do another one out there another one about here and they do set, uh, rotate by the looks of it so let's just try and if, uh, I can see through the thatch roof let's get it aligned with that one in front out there Oh, that's really difficult to see in this menu. Try that one. Doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, generally the tables and chairs aren't always perfect, are they? Let's turn that one around. Like so. And last but not least, this one here will turn you around to face that way. Cool, and I figured we'd also put some mortar and pestles on these tables, given that you can actually put them on tables now, which is pretty cool. And this will help us make up the spark powder that we need for our preserving bins. Also, kind of <laughs> look like weird breakfast bowls, really. Just adds a bit of character to the uh, the room. That's pretty cool. Let's try and sit on one of these chairs then. And it puts me on the table. That's interesting. Probably a little bit of a bug at the moment. Or perhaps it's just too close to the table. But it's only for decoration really more than anything. I'm really happy of how this turned out to be honest. Um, I think it looks really really good. We got that to the centre of the room. Plenty of room to move around and it's super functional. Well that's going to be it for today's episode guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video, if you have remember to hit that like button and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel for more Ark Survival Evolved videos. Until the next time guys, keep calm and level up.